All right, here we go again. And let's start to build that welding uh, part. I don't know how to call it, but I'm talking about these center part here. We will not build exactly like that because it's not necessary for the purpose of this tutorial, but we will still, you know, give a hint that there is something going on there. And for doing this, right click, edge, select the uh, edge loop by double clicking, and then shift right click on the gray area and bevel. All right. And then we go into the channel box and we uh, set the offset by clicking on the offset, offset word and with the middle mouse button we drag in the gray area and as you can see is very very uh, uh, not is, is not very precise at the moment because it, it takes big steps to go from tight and large all right, but if we press control and then middle mouse button drag, you see it is very precise and we can decide how thick that thing could be. Probably this is good enough. Let's have another look. Uh, maybe a little bit thicker. So again, like that, okay and press Q to exit the bevel tool and now let's go into face mode and click on one face shift double click on the other one all right and with this selected shift right click on a gray area and extrude face all right Cool. So, and let's set the offset. Control, uh, left mouse button, click and drag on the word offset. So we decided slight offset, really, really a tiny bit. Okay. And then thickness, click and drag, just a tad. Now let's see. It's probably too much, so control, click and drag on thickness. That's all right. That's enough. Okay. And press Q on the keyboard to get out of the tool. And now this will probably be, it will probably be too smooth. So if we smooth this out, like uh, pressing the three on the keypad, the menu menu keypad, as you can see, it's subtle, okay? In the photo, is quite harsh. It's quite, you know, present. Is a, there is more contrast. So how do we uh, reach this level of contrast? By adding more geometry, of course. And so select this, get out of the smooth mode by pressing one of the, on the numeric keypad. And let's add... Um, actually, let's do another bevel. So edge mode, select this, double clicking by double clicking, and shift, select this by double clicking as well. So we got two edge loops selected, and then shift, right click, bevel. All right, and same again, go to offset, control middle mouse drag on the gray area, back. All right. That's, that should be enough. Perfect. And let's get let's have a look at the smooth mode. So uh, press three on the key or the numeric keyboard. And select, and that's much much better. All right. Let's have a comparison. Yes, definitely. Okay. We can do also the center of these of this part of the geometry, you can see there is another um, extrusion, let's call it, and let's do that. So again, out of the smooth mode, press one on the numeric keypad and select edge mode 
and then select one of these okay and control right click and edge edge ring utilities and to edge ring a split perfect and press Q unselect and now select again this loop shift right click bevel and go into the channel box select offset control uh, right click and drag sorry control middle mouse click and drag in the gray area like that that's enough perfect press Q and now face mode and one face double click the other one shift double click the other one now shift right click on the gray area and there you go sorry there extrude face and again slight offset control left mouse button click and drag like this probably and thickness again control click and drag on the word thickness really really subtle okay we do like this probably yes and press Q to exit the extrude tool and let me have a look at the picture again let's see if we can get away with this one without having to raise the contrast so select the object press 3 on the numeric keypad yes yes that's that's exactly what we want okay now press one to get out of the smooth mode and let's delete the history because we have quite a bunch yeah uh, alt shift d whenever you are confident that you finished with your main modeling parts so not modifying stuff not changing something just main modeling uh, i strongly suggest you uh, to delete your history especially if your computer is not no, no, very powerful, and you want to you want to keep Maya going uh, fast and responsive. So, with that said, let's see what else we can do here. Not much really. So we can uh, start to build a base. Good. And for the base, we will start from another cylinder so unselect this and shift right click poly cylinder all right so you go into a front view and in the channel box into the construction history poly cylinder one scroll down and a radius let's do this probably something like this okay 12 looks good and let's raise these up a little bit after the modeling process we will position everything on the ground of course uh, but for the time being we'll stick with this and 20 axis division is all right and height probably something like this Let's have a look at the photo. Looks almost correct. Okay. And let's decrease the subdivision caps to zero. So we easily, we can easily delete the faces up and down, up uh, on the top and the bottom. And in the next lesson, we will keep on modeling the base of the gas bottle and see you in the next lesson.